Welcome to Crash Course Electronics and PCB Design. We're going to learn about electronics and PCB design from the ground up using Altium Circuit Maker and Lab Center Proteus. When I started on this class, my goal was to distill an entire electrical engineering degree into a single course. I know that sounds crazy, but this course is nothing like anything you've ever seen. We're going to start with what's an electron, and by the end of the course, you will literally be able to design your own complex circuits, build them on printed circuit boards, and have them manufactured. I guarantee it. My name is Andre Lamoth. I'm a computer scientist and electrical engineer. I hold degrees in mathematics, computer science, and electrical engineering. I've been developing software and hardware for decades professionally. Additionally, I'm a professional author and have written many books and articles on computer graphics, game development, and electrical engineering. Lastly, I founded a number of software and hardware companies. My current company, Nerve Networks, develops and manufactures embedded systems and gaming hardware. I designed this course for people that want to learn about electronics from the ground up but don't know where to start. Electrical and embedded engineering is a huge field of study. There's analog electronics, digital design, IC design, RF theory, microcontrollers, computer architecture, FPGAs, embedded systems, firmware, and the list goes on and on. To cover all these in depth literally would take years, so instead we're going to focus on the fundamentals of circuit design and analysis with an emphasis on building real circuits in the real world. The course lectures follow a common pattern. I'll introduce a subject, we'll talk about it, we'll build a circuit, we may simulate it with Lab Center's Proteus, and finally, we'll build it on the bench with real parts and experiment with it. Using this pattern, you'll get a deep understanding ground in both theory and practical fabrication. By the end of the course, you'll have covered hundreds of electrical engineering topics. You'll have quite a breadth of knowledge, which we'll leverage in the final section of the course to design and create three complete printed circuit board projects with Altium Circuit Maker. These include an LED magic wand, a sound synthesizer organ, and finally the coup de gras, a complete Arduino-based handheld memory game, the Simon Duino. By the time you're done, you'll be able to design your own circuits and lay them out on Circuit Maker and have them manufactured. The course is broken up into eight major sections. In section one, you'll set up and download the source files for the course, including my free ebook, Design Your Own Video Game Console, that we'll be using for the EE reference text. Section two is an introduction to electronics and everything related. We'll discuss a lot of different topics to give you a large scale overview of electronics and basic theory, concepts like current, voltage, power, resistance, capacitance, inductance, impedance, and more will be covered here as well as an introduction to the most common components used in electrical design, such as resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, transistors, LEDs, and so forth. Section 3 is a deep dive into more advanced circuit analysis. You'll learn about how to use mathematics and various techniques, such as Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's laws, to analyze circuits and compute what's going on. Section 4 takes things to the next level. We'll learn about more advanced analog concepts, such as RC and RL circuits, complex impedance, filters, amplifiers, and then apply these new ideas to building more complicated circuits such as power supplies. The second half of this section is an introduction to digital electronics, basic gates, ands, ors, inverters, etc. Then in section 5, we go full blast into the digital realm. We'll cover theory, logic families such as TTL, CMOS, and low power, number systems, Boolean algebra, and a little about IC packaging and fabrication. Moving on to section 6, this is where you'll learn about small and medium scale integration. We'll talk about flip-flops, counters, buffers, drivers, decoders, multiplexers, arithmetic logic units, and more, and finish off with finite state machines and K-map analysis. Next, in section seven, it's all about PCB fabrication technology. We're going to install Altium Circuit Maker, learn the basics of PCB design, and how a PCB is actually manufactured, what they're made of. So we know what to expect as we design our projects in the next section. Last but not least is section eight. This is a course within a course. In this section, you're gonna learn about Circuit Maker with hands-on training as we develop the three projects, the Magic Wand, Oregon, and Simon Duino. This section is both a training module on Circuit Maker as well as a training module on schematic entry, part selection, and PCB layout. Now, who should take this course? First, anyone interested in learning electronics that wants a really solid, theoretical foundation as well as the ability to design circuits, projects, and then create and manufacture printed circuit boards. In other words, end-to-end -end design from concept to PCB. You might be a student, an entrepreneur that wants to build a hardware product, or a software person that just wants to better understand what's going on under the hood of hardware. 
Now, although there are some advanced math concepts in the course, I take a lot of time to break things down and make it easy to understand. So a basic understanding of algebra should get you through it. Also, to run the tools you'll need, a Windows PC or a virtual machine is fine. Other than that, if you haven't touched a circuit in your life, you will be fine. We're going to do everything together, step by step. Thanks for checking out my course. I designed Crash Course Electronics and PCB Design as the course I wish I had access to when I was learning. So if you want to learn electronics and PCB design, I hope to see you in class. Bye. Please take my class! All right, well, how are you doing? So welcome to section two. So before we get started with the actual lectures, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute to let you kind of know uh, what we're doing, how we're gonna do it, and uh, kind of the, the general flow that we're gonna do. So the first thing is, uh, you know, if you've watched a lot of online, uh, you know, courses, uh, you know, I, I know I have, a lot of times uh, the courses are completely scripted. And uh, if the course is scripted, it's basically someone's just reading uh, to you from something that they either wrote or someone else wrote. So number one, this is not scripted. So I'm doing this completely on the fly. So of course we have our outline that we're gonna follow and all that, but uh, you know, uh, since I'm not in a classroom with you, and normally if I were in a classroom, I would just kind of have my notes and I would just be teaching you uh, just, as we, just as we went. Now, we don't have, uh, I don't have the interactivity with you, which normally I would adapt every lecture depending on who's in the class and the kind of questions that are being asked. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, since I've uh, taught this material a lot of times to a lot of different uh, people, I'm gonna imagine, uh, you know, kind of the questions that they ask. And so I'm gonna kind of be your evangelist. So as we go through this, I'm not gonna, you know, assume that you know something that you, you may not know. And uh, so I'm gonna, you know, try and really explain things really well to you. And I'll take a lot of, uh, you know, detours for a minute. So I may go talk about this or talk about that and then come back. All right, so that's number one. So. Uh, you know, imagine we're just in a classroom, it's going to be you and me, and we're just going to do this, and we're going to get through this, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. The uh, second thing is, you can see that I've got some text up here on the screen. So, uh, as I said in the uh, first section, when we uh, kind of went through the parts that you're going to need, and uh, uh, resources and whatnot, one of the things is, uh, I'm going to base uh, my lectures, my kind of theoretical lectures, I'm going to base them on one of my books. So this way I don't have to be fumbling around with new notes and kind of making up stuff. I'm going to do something that I've already done uh, that works well and kind of has the material that, that I have in it. So what we're going to do is, uh, and you do not need uh, this book at all, but we're going to be using uh, my Black Art of Video Game Console design book uh, kind of as the basis of uh, our notes and what we're going to kind of go through. Now, there's a lot of material in uh, electrical engineering, embedded engineering, countless uh, volumes can be written about it. So there is a list that you should have seen in section one of you know books that I recommend you read. Some of them are very theoretical, college text kind of books, and uh, and you know and those are great. Uh, if you have the time to do it. So, you know, for example, um, here's, you know, an old favorite of mine. Uh, this is a circuit analysis book by Johnson & Johnson. Many universities use this book. And uh, I think, yeah, this is like the third edition. So this is a great book. And uh, if you have the time, uh, money, you can, you know, uh, buy this, download it, whatever. All right. So, but that that's college text kind of stuff. Now, uh, even if you have a degree in electrical engineering, uh, the book I'm going to show you next, which is also in section one, is one of my favorite books, and uh, it's called The Art of Electronics, and I don't have the cover anymore for this. It got destroyed, but The Art of Electronics, and they're actually up to a new edition. And uh, this book is really, really good, and the reason why is it um, doesn't have a lot of math in it, but it goes from you know the beginning to the end of everything electronic. And uh, so this is another great reference that I suggest you read. So I actually, no matter what you do in your lifetime, if you are interested in electronics, you have got to read The Art of Electronics, all right? And this is by Horowitz and Hill. So, and like I said, they're up to the third edition right now. So, and it just came out, I think, last year. So, so that's really cool. And I haven't even got it yet. I need to get it, all right? But we're going to use my uh, book uh, and, you know, it, my book, Video Game Console Design. It has nothing to do with what we're going to do, but the... Uh, electronic section of it the theory is is really good and and we're going to use that and that's what you're seeing up on the screen right now so uh, so that's what we're going to do so we're going to do lecture we're going to do theory 
And then the whole idea of this is for you to learn basic electronics, all right? And it's important that you learn really good fundamentals, all right? And now the majority of you are going to be coming from a software background. That's kind of one of the points of this is, you know, uh, for people who kind of have a background in programming, you want to learn about electronics. So, and just like in software, you want to have a really good understanding of a computer architecture. How does a computer work? How does a microprocessor work? You know, how does a program work? And if you don't have that information, you tend to write programs that don't take advantage of the architecture, right? Or run uh, efficiently or use up too much memory. And I think everybody can agree that software these days is really bloated, right? So, same thing with electronics. I want you to have a really good foundation and uh, to be able to go through this stuff so that you can always kind of go back to that foundation. All right, so that's gonna be important. So we're gonna take our time and we're not gonna dig super deep, but we're gonna dig deep enough that you're gonna kind of you know, understand where these things are coming from and you can always research more. All right, the other important thing is, since this is Crash Course Electronics, we are gonna be doing a lot of um, hands-on stuff. So, uh, you know, reading about something and hearing about it is different than seeing it done. So once you see actual hands-on things, that's going to really help. And then, you know, I suggest to you, you do the same thing. The more that you touch these things, the more that you play with them, the more that you get a feel for them, it, that's going to help you. Because um, you really have no sense of... Um, how these things work. It's like if you've never done something, you don't know how much, like if you've never picked up a certain object, you can't really tell how much that thing weighs, right? So electronics is the same way. You have no, no frame of reference to know how small these things are or um, you know how much power they use or how expensive they are or where you get them. So the more that you interact with these components and play with them, that's going to be a good thing. So we're going to do that.